up your starting drive? You know, how did you find out? You know, just from all the work you put in and get to the spot and learning that you're starting. What's kind of your reaction to that? Um, I really found out because uh, my cousin, my cousin had texted me a, a video clip, and uh, I seen it, and it was just, you know, a um, big blessing, um, testimony to the work that's been put in. Um, just excited for what's to come next. Have you felt kind of what we've seen is that, especially the last two weeks, that you've been playing, you know, really, really well. You've had a great camp, but really turned it on there the last two weeks. Did you kind of sense that too, and do you feel like you really trend in the right direction heading into week one? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I look a little and look at the whole camp. Um, I would say coming in, just had to get back into the swing of things. Uh, hadn't really played ball, competitively at least, for uh, 11 months. So didn't want to be too hard on myself, getting back into the swing of things. But I think like th these last two weeks, uh, things have really uh, picked up. And um, feeling really comfortable in the direction that I'm trending. Is when you hear about me confident as well? It seems like yeah, yeah. I, I think I think those things um, go hand in hand. So uh, especially at the defensive back position, uh, confidence is um, really the name of the game. I wouldn't say that's. I wouldn't say physically or mentally, it was hard. It was. It was just like the feel. It's kind of like a feel thing. Like maybe if you hadn't wrote an article for like a year or something, just getting back into writing a good piece of good piece of work, it's just kind of more of a feel thing. Just feeling things out and letting the game just come to you, and not maybe going out of your way to make a play or something. Just like staying within within your lane. What do you joint practices do for you? I mean, once you got preseason action and joint practices. What did that do for you as well? It seemed like that's when things really started to change. Those joint practices were fun. Um, that was the first time I've been a part of that. It was going, going against uh, another group of people uh, in a practice setting. And uh, I mean, the refs are there, but it's really just anything goes in a way. So get, being able to kind of, you know, be expressive and have fun, I think that just the energy kind of carried over. And, uh, you know, when you get momentum, I think um, what you try to do is hold on to it and like build off of it. Did it feel to you like maybe that would be the turning point for you in camp or anything? I wouldn't say it was a turning point necessarily. I would just say, um, you know, after the first day, um, I just felt like like I didn't do enough. Um, just like, I mean, personally for me, I don't like to have like an up and down day. I think like consistency is a, is a big deal in the sport. So I just feel like I didn't do enough to be labeled consistent that day. And I think. The next day I came out with like the intention of I need to be consistent um, from beginning to end and not not kind of let practice fluctuate a little bit. I want to ask you about uh, Deshaun too. I know you guys are from the Dallas area and you guys have known each other for, for a while. Just what is his, what does he meant to that secondary and what do you think bringing him in means to that? I mean, uh, obviously like Deshaun being on the Ravens for uh, beginning of his career, he's won a lot of games. And I think that uh, what he brings to this group is just uh, you know, a standard of winning that um, obviously that we're just all striving for to be able to, you know, hold ourselves to that standard. And uh, he's seen it. I mean, some guys seen it on the collegiate level, but he's seen it on the professional level. So I think um, he, he tells us things that, you know, they might've done in Baltimore. And um, we don't necessarily try to emulate it, but we definitely try to apply, apply it and uh, see if it works for us. And uh, I, I would say that um, his presence has really been invaluable, invaluable thus far. Um, yeah, I mean, um, you know, when, when I have a chance, I mean, obviously camp's been like full speed ahead, but, you know, whenever I could just sit down and like think about, you know, the journey thus far, um, the things that come with an Achilles injury and um, where I'm at, um, I, I try not to be too hard on myself and just, uh, you know, be a little bit proud of, you know, of what I've been able to accomplish. But with that being said, I still try to keep the mentality of, you know, the work's not finished. Um, we're still trying to still have a lot, a lot more to accomplish. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm proud, but at the same time, I'm, I'm still, um, you know, as motivated as ever, as hungry as ever, because I don't think that I've come close to accomplishing my goals. Was there anyone you really leaned on and talked to during that process? Um, Honestly, just uh, trusting in God's plan. Um, you know, something that I just talked a lot about through the rehab and reminded myself, you know, like God's not done with me. Um, 
And every time I came out here, it's like it's a reason that he brought me back out here. Um, so I try to keep that in mind and uh, use that to perform my best of my ability. Yeah. Yeah. Last year, so. I'm, uh, of course, I think that um, you know uh, that I'm believing in the rehab process, the work that I was putting in, um, giving me the opportunity to come out here and compete. Um, that, that that goes a long way. Uh, so, I mean, on my end, I just try to make sure that you know I do right by him. How did you kind of spend the offseason rehab? Did you go anywhere special, or just any background stuff there? Oh yeah, I mean, I went to a lot of different places. Um, I was in California, Atlanta, Dallas, um, Canada. I was out here for a little bit, just so I could, um, you know, just looking for the best of the best people that could uh, have the most experience with what I dealt with, and um, just honestly to give myself the best. I mean, you can do everything you you can, but the, it's really out of control. So just trying to give myself the best chance to come back healthy. You feel like you're further along because of that. Yeah, I, I think I think the work that um, the time that I invested into that process um, definitely is paying dividends right now. Um, so I'm just trying to kind of enjoy the fruits of my labor, honestly. Where do you think you are physically? Maybe that, that where you were to start, you know, San Francisco last week. That was probably your peak. Are you at a similar spot? You feel like you're better physically, or are you still working through some things? Like I guess where are you at compared to where you were right before the injury physically? Um, you know. <clears throat> Numbers, wise, like when I just look at the, the numbers, stronger, um, faster. Um, so, I mean, I, I came in with a goal of, I mean, honestly, when the, to be honest with you guys, when the rehab process started, I didn't know what to expect, like what, what, like what the other side of it would look like. So I just really feel like I've been blessed tremendously to um, come back and not really so I know some guys come back and they might physically feel different or mentally um, they don't trust their body. But honestly, I don't have those concerns. Um, and I, I think that in itself is a, is a blessing. Thank you so much. Appreciate what is, you. What was the last like 24 hours or so? Been like, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's been fast. Um, things ended in San Francisco and uh, basically that evening caught a red eye out here and uh, showed up at 5 a.m. Landed at 5 a.m. straight here to, for a physical. Um, been meetings and practice yesterday, so I was going off about an hour of flight sleep. Um, <laughs> but last night I was able to get like nine nine hours of sleep, so I felt really good today. But yeah, it's happened fast, but it's I'm super pumped to be here. I'm just coming here to work, man. I'm coming here to do what they ask of me. Um, Looking forward to all the opportunities they give me, um, but just coming here to prepare, help Jared uh, the best I can, help the offense and this team in the locker room, um, and then just yeah, do whatever is required of me. But um, trying to trying to get better and learn the system every day. Yeah, you've been a backup coach for quite a while now. What does that job like to you? What do you approach? Yeah, you know I've yeah going on year seven in the league. Um, yeah, learned from a lot of great guys. I've had a lot of good guys when I was young, especially kind of. Get, uh, keep me under their wing and teach me the ropes so I've been able to kind of pay it forward with young guys I've been around and stuff so um, but yeah I've been able to learn a lot through that time but doing a lot to help the starter prepare but also getting prepared as the backup because you're one play away um, and then yeah just watching film help them break down things and um, try to bridge the gaps um, with receivers and tight ends and line and just trying to be cohesive, be a gel guy. So, yeah, looking forward to, to the opportunity. Nate, Benito Jones had to do up-downs. It's kind of like an initiation. Anything like that in the quarterback room or something like that? <laughs> Maybe don't bring it up to them. Uh, I'm not really trying to do up-downs, but no. Whatever they ask, but no. I think they take care of quarterback's arms a little bit, so I, pr I appreciate that. <laughs> ben Johnson, what's been your early impression of your talks with him? Yeah, really impressed with Ben. Um, yeah, great communicator, a lot of ideas, really collaborative. Um, yeah, I've been really impressed. Honestly, the whole offensive staff, obviously I have a lot of familiar familiarity with some of the guys. I mean, Anton randall is a former Indiana Hoosier, so Hoosier quarterbacks representing out here. And then uh, obviously I was with Deuce Staley in Philadelphia, you know, when we had a lot of success, won the Super Bowl and stuff, so that was awesome. Um, and then, yeah, down the list, know a lot of those guys. And then learning some of the new guys, getting to know Brew really well, and he's an awesome guy. 
Uh, but yeah, overall, really impressed with the offensive staff that I've been around and uh, excited to work with them. I know it's extremely early. How have you seen the similarities with this offense and what you've done in the past? Then obviously it's ties to Zach you know, Taylor. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's. Uh, I mean, a lot of concepts I've 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 definitely run and uh, done before. There's a lot of new verbiage, memorization things. So definitely going to need to study, continue to study. But um, definitely a lot of carryover. There are some new concepts I haven't done before, but I love how much we do at the line of scrimmage and um, you know how much confidence they have in Jared and the quarterbacks to get us into a right play. So yeah, really looking forward to the opportunity and to operate in the offense. You mentioned seven years in the league. Obviously, you've played a, a ton of a ton of yeah. NFL snaps, but. Yeah, I'm very confident in my game. Um, yeah, really excited to, you know, prepare and uh, be ready for any opportunity that comes. Um, you know, oftentimes in this league, things happen and, uh, you, you know, been behind guys who haven't gotten hurt for a while. And that's kind of as a backup, your window to get into a game. And uh, but yeah, it's it's been a beautiful journey that I've been fortunate to be a part of and just try to get better every year. and. The older you get, you just want to keep stacking years and you want to keep improving as a player and then all the other stuff, it's just a matter of time. It'll take care of itself. I think most people don't realize that what, you know, when you say a beautiful journey, most people don't understand what it's like to cut like in that moment and just put us there. Like what, how yeah. That yeah, yeah, being released is a really tough situation for, for all the guys who, who've gone through it. Um, you know, sometimes you're released and you feel like you weren't playing very well and you're like, you know, I, I need to get better. And then sometimes you feel like you were playing well and it's kind of a numbers game and it just doesn't work out. Um, so, yeah, it, it uh, it's important for guys to not lose their confidence because, you know, you can it can be disappointing to hear, oh, yeah, you're not here anymore, go somewhere else. Um, but oftentimes it's kind of just how the game works with the numbers and with situation and with guys they're invested in and things like that. So, yeah, I've tried to – I haven't – I've never wavered in confidence throughout the whole process, and I just know how this how this league works. And you just got to be ready. And when you get an opportunity, you got to make the most of it. In your case, was it because they signed Garoppolo? Um, I don't really want to get into all the the, the, the dynamics of it, but uh, yeah, I'm just really excited to be here. And um, yeah, it wasn't explicitly explained, but yeah, excited to be here. Did it feel like a numbers thing at the very least? Do you? Uh, absolutely. There there were definitely issues with that, um, but yeah. So pumped to be here. Everything works out like it's supposed to. What are some uh, <laughs> right, guys? Time for two more. Some, some key elements of preparing the starter. Yeah, it, it's definitely starter dependent. You know, you can kind of collaborate with them, talk with them, communicate what they're looking for, how you can help them, what areas they, you know, if they don't have time to watch a certain cut up, if you can watch it and kind of give them a summary of what you've seen, or you know, just being someone to bounce ideas off, communicate with. Um, yeah, uh, so kind of figuring that out with Jared right now. But I've known Jared for a while, so it's it's been a really seamless trans transition and uh, looking forward to work with him. Can you give any specifics on what he might like for you? We're just kind of getting to know each other right now. It's not a, or not that. We're just kind of in, in this setting, at least. We haven't worked together before. So, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be really collaborative. It already has been because we have some similar experiences with coaches and offenses, so we can kind of speak the same language in a lot of different uh, ways, so it's been cool, but yeah, we'll we'll see as I'm here longer. I just had a question. Last on, one. I just had a question. Last on two. Jalen Hurts, obviously being there in Philly, mm -hmm. playing them week one. What have you seen from him overall training camp? Um, I haven't seen Jalen this training camp, but the the training camp that I was with him, I'm really impressed with Jalen. Yeah. He's really talented, super hard worker, um, really good guy. Um, can really can throw it better than people give him credit for, and obviously athletic. Um, he's got a chance to be a really good player this year. Um, yeah, and they, they have a good roster, so we're definitely going to have to bring it this, hey, next week. So Jared and I have the same agent, and uh, we came out the same year, and uh, we're both from Northern California. So we, uh, I think in high school we had the same quarterback coach we'd go to every once in a while. And, uh, yeah, just through, like, the combine and all that stuff, the process, we got to know each other, and then we played against each other, or, uh, yeah, throughout the years. And in the offseason we'll throw sometimes together in Southern California. So, yeah, I know Jared well. Cool. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, I always, it, it was something I wasn't expecting, but they said that's, that's part of the tradition here. So I had to go ahead and get them knocked out. And before I took my first team rep, they said I had to do all four of them. So I, I did all four of them, got them, got them out of the way. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, you know, it's just a process. Uh, I've been released before from Miami, you know, just, uh, you know, waiting till you see get uh, claimed and everything. And uh, like I say, I put some pretty good tape out this preseason. And, and uh, you know, they were just letting me know that I probably could get claimed by somebody. I didn't even know who it was. And uh, I think Detroit is a really good fit for me. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had a pretty good chance if I was gonna make it or not, but you know, I I, I didn't. So you know, you know, it's, it's game of business. So you know, get released and just waiting at 24 hours, see if anybody pick you up. And Detroit picked me up, and you know, I'm pretty excited about it. What would you tell Lions fans about your table? You know, I just like to come out and compete, real physical. You know, just stop and run, and you know, just win football games here. Sir. Oh, uh, my first impression was just them forty up down. <laughs> I gotta say, man, them forty up down. It was I ain't did up down since college, and you know it was very, very new to me. It feel like, but you know, just going out, and getting them done, and get out with the boys, and you're going to work. Uh, I just I like the scheme, you know, just learning the plays and everything, and. A lot of attack, and I think it, you know it really fit my game. Uh, no, I, you know I just seen like a little few clips on it on ESPN or uh, on Facetime. I mean, uh, Instagram, but that's about it. I haven't really watched it though. <laughs> uh, the one, the one that I did see is like, uh, I think they was like doing some stretching, and the band popped off and hit a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh, I'm glad it wasn't me, but it looked like it pretty hurt. What's been your first impressions of uh, Dan Campbell if you've had a chance to talk to him? Uh, I talked to him one time, and uh, he's, you know, he seemed like he's a really good coach. Uh, he's very competitive, and, you know, he seemed like he want to win. So uh, I like I like that, and uh, he, he seemed like a really good guy. Uh, I know Isaiah Bugs. Uh We played against each other a little bit during college days, and uh, – that's about it. You guys kind of play the same position. Is it kind of interesting just kind of being alongside him and kind of working the same stuff? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's just a competitive thing. You know, just come out here and work every day and get each other better.